Hey guys, so I had uh, quite a few questions about micro analytics after the conversation I started a couple weeks ago inside the admin bar. And now that it's been a couple weeks, I've been using this on several different websites, including using it on some of my clients' websites. I thought I would revisit this and try to answer all those questions in one little video and see if this might be something that helps you out with your clients as well. So what we're taking a look at here is micro analytics, which is basically a, um, a alternative to Google Analytics that makes the process of understanding all the information that you're collecting a whole lot easier, especially for a client to decipher. So for me, what I figured out is that the more invested you can get your clients in their online presence, in their website, the more likely you're, you are to be able to sign them up for further services, right? So if you're wanting to sign them up for SEO, or if you're wanting to do some kind of marketing services for them, if they're not heavily invested in their website, they're probably not going to see the value in that as much as if they are invested in the website. Website. And analytics is a really easy way to kind of start showing them how their website works, how many people are visiting it, what kind of returns they're getting out of their investment on this. Unfortunately, and, and kind of why this journey started for me was sending a client into Google Analytics, especially the new version of Google Analytics, uh, Google Analytics 4, is very, very difficult for them to understand. If you're not really familiar with this stuff, um, you know, it's going to be over most small business clients' heads. Um, in fact, the new version of Analytics, most of it's over my head. I don't get a lot of information out of that. Uh, so I kind of went down this path searching for an alternative that was simpler to use. And luckily, a lot of these have sprung up over the last few years. Uh, I think the biggest one is probably Fathom Analytics. That's the one I hear the most about. Uh, and there were several others that I took a look at. Unfortunately, all those um, you can do a free trial on, but you can't actually have a free plan. And what originally caught my attention about micro analytics was their free plan. So if we take a look at that here on their pricing page, you get all the features that are included um, up to 10,000 page views per month for completely free. Now, if you go over that, uh, you start paying $9 a month to get up to 100,000 page views. But for a lot of my small business local clients, 10,000 page views is probably enough. And this will do everything they really need to understand about the analytics on their website uh, without adding any extra cost to them. So there's a few things about micro excuse me, micro analytics that I do like. Um, <clears throat> one is that it's really, really clean and simple. We'll, we'll jump inside the dashboard here in a minute and take a look at that. Uh, but it's really lightweight, easy to look at, easy to decipher all the information. The other thing is that they're more focused on privacy. So they're not tracking specific IP addresses um, and it's completely compliant with GDPR. So those are all good things. Uh, and lastly, they run completely off of renewable energy. So if that makes you feel good about things, it does me. So that's a nice little bonus in there as well. So you can go to microanalytics.com and check out all this information on their website. Now it is a pretty small little website. So uh, what you see here is pretty much everything. But let's go ahead and jump in here and take a look at how this works. And I have a website loaded in here that we can take a look at and give you kind of an idea of how the system works. So once you're logged in, uh, this is your main dashboard area. All the websites you have connected will show up here on the left. Now what I'm actually doing, because I'm using this for clients, is I'm signing each client up for their own account. And the reason is every website you add in here adds up into your 10,000 allotted page views. So if you only have one website per account, uh, obviously you're gonna be able to keep those page views focused just on that one's website instead of adding them all together. Uh, so what I've been doing for my clients is signing up for their account for them, getting everything connected and working. And then I'll show you here in a second where you can give them basically a public URL to access all this information where they don't even have to log into the system to be able to come in and take a look at their analytics. So once we're in here, we can click into this website and take a look at everything we got. Now, I, I've realized now after I set up this website that this is a one page website and it gets almost no traffic and I've only had the analytics on here for a day. So there's not a whole lot of data for us to look at. But if you're familiar with logging in and looking at analytics data, you'll get a good idea of what's in here. Uh, so the first tab in here is the real time view. This will show you how many people are on your website in real time. So if we load up the website, click back over here, we'll see now it's showing there's one person on the website. So all that works totally fine. You can see, you know, uh, what technology they're using, where they're from, uh, and how long they're spending on the page. Now, if we go into the overview, this is probably where most of your clients are going to spend their time looking at. This gives you kind of a broad overview of everything uh, inside this dashboard. So you'll see visits and page views. 
uh, you'll see the top pages, which it's only showing one now because this is a one page website. Uh, but if you had several pages in here, I believe this overview shows you the top five. Uh, you'll see the refers, you'll see what countries they're coming from, what browsers they're using, what operating system they're using, and if you've set up any events, you'll see that in there. And basically, you can dig into all these sections a little bit deeper if you go through these tabs here. So obviously, I only have one page, so we're only going to see one page on here and not multiple. Um, same thing with acquisitions. Uh, you can see all the information about where you're getting referred from, uh, what search engines you're being brought up in, uh, as far as where you're getting traffic from, social networks, campaigns, uh, geography. You can see which continents, which countries, which cities, and which languages people are uh, viewing your website from. And under technology, you can see the operating systems, browsers, screen re resolutions, and devices. So if we went in here, we could see uh, today uh, the only visits are from my browser, which is 1920 by 1080. Now up here at the top, you do have the option to change the date range. So it defaults to today, but if we wanted to switch it to the last 30 days, we can do that and all this data gets updated where you can see the information for the last 30 days. Now, this is pretty much everything that's inside this analytics dashboard. So if you have a really complex site or a site where you're already doing a lot of marketing activities, you're probably going to need more than this. But where I really see this coming in handy is for small, uh, small businesses, local clients that you just want to start getting them invested in and paying attention to how many visits their website's getting. You know, I've had a conversation with a client several times. Um, we kind of watch his website traffic and when he's posting a lot on social media, he gets a lot of visits. And when he doesn't post a lot on social media, he doesn't get a lot of visits. And even though that seems, you know, uh, perfectly reasonable to us, I don't think clients are always thinking of things in those terms. So being able to show them like, look here on, you know, on these days you were posting a lot, you were getting a lot of traffic to the website. We need to keep that up because when you stop posting, this happens. Uh, so being able to give them a system like this to help them really envision that, um, I think it's definitely a benefit. Now, one thing that I do think is lacking inside this system is even though you can set even custom date ranges if you need to, this month, last month, all time, you can set the dates. There's no way to do comparisons. So one thing I would want to look at, you know, if we're in this overview tab with visitors and page views, I would want to see, okay, well, how much traffic did I get this month? And how does that compare to the amount of traffic I got last month? Or how does that compare to this time last year, especially if you have a seasonal, a seasonal business? Uh, so so that's not in here, which I, I definitely miss that in, in this system, whereas in Google Analytics, that's something I'm looking at all the time. Almost any time I'm picking a date range, I want to compare it to some other data. So I have, you know, some kind of benchmark to go off of to see if we're, you know, growing or, or uh, falling behind. Um, but let's take a look at how you can go in here and actually share links. So um, if we go back to the dashboard here, when you add a new website, you have the option to set the privacy to private. Uh, when it's set to private, you have to log into the system to be able to view any of the data. When it's set to public, you just have a publicly accessible link that anybody can see all the analytics data. Now, they can't go in there and, and mess with the account, obviously, but they can view all the data. Uh, and the, your third option is to be able to set a password. So basically, you have the same public access link, but you have to put a password in first to see it. So we can actually do that. We'll jump here to the Kyle Van Dusen. Uh, so for all the URLs to be able to view these dashboards, it's just microanalytics.io forward slash whatever your website URL is. So that makes it really easy to remember. Uh, I've just been telling clients to go in and bookmark that website, and then that way they can find it pretty easily. I'm going to go ahead and copy this to my clipboard, and we're going to sign out here. Um, so if I was to give a client this URL uh, and they go to it, this website I have set up as password protected. But if we click in there, type in the password, hit validate. Now, without having to log in, you can see all the information. So the dashboard looks basically the same, except you don't have the sidebar over here uh, showing you where you can add new websites and things like that. Um, but what's nice about this, if you do set it to public, they wouldn't even have to enter a password. So for most of my clients, I am putting a password on there just so I can keep people who have no business in there uh, from messing with it. Now, obviously it's not super secure, but um, you know, it, it does the trick. Now for some, I did do it without a password. They can just you know go to that URL and see the analytics. Um, but I think something like this that just makes the data really easily easy to digest is a, a much easier way to get clients involved in their analytics.
So I would definitely love to know if y'all have tried this out, uh, what your thoughts on it are, what you think it might be missing. I have had just a couple little things that I wish were in here that are inside of Google Analytics or some of the other ones that I've tried. Um, I do not know how long Micro Analytics has been around, so I'm not sure how you know how young this product is, how much more they have in a roadmap. None of that information that I can find is available on their website. They don't have a lot of documentation on all this. Now it is fairly easy to use, so I can imagine there's not a huge need for documentation, but I get the feeling that this company hasn't been around a long time. So it does worry me a little bit in the fact that I don't know, you know, if I set up all of my clients on here, if it's going to be around in another year, but you know, there's no money invested as long as we don't go over the 10,000 page views. So I think that's probably a fair trade-off. But anyways, I would love to know what y'all think. Uh, if you think this is something that might help your clients, or if you've used this with your clients, kind of what results you've gotten. Uh, so far, I've gotten nothing but positive feedback from mine. I have given them the link and then recorded a quick little video like this to show them, you know, kind of what all this data means and give them a quick overview. And they've seemed pretty happy about that and kind of excited that they can uh, understand some of the things about their website. So I think for for some people that don't do this for a living, we're kind of inside this bubble where we think about this all the time. But um, for some people that don't do this all the time, even the word analytics might be kind of like a buzzword or uh, something that they don't fully understand. But being able to give them, you know, the equip them with the tools to be able to understand this and do this on their own, I think is an empowering thing for them. And anytime they're more invested in their website, they're going to be more invested in the services you provide. So I definitely think it's worth uh, getting your clients into. But I would love to continue this conversation. If you're not a part of the admin bar community, you can go to the adminbar.com forward slash group. I'll put all the links down in this, um, in the notes here and you can come join us and we can have this conversation and we have all kinds of great conversations in there as well. So we will catch you guys on the next one.